Welcome! In this video, it's Quick Change Challenge, and I have a couple of things for you from Chat Couture, and a few mistakes that I made, so you don't want to miss that, so make sure to stay tuned. Okay, so I decided to show you how to do the Chat Couture transfers for a Quick Change uh, Challenge, and this is one of the bases that they have. Um, the products are on the website and I'll have that linked in my link tree down below. But it's like a chalk surface and also washable. So as long as you use um, the paste brand or type, um, it's washable. You can wash it off. If you use ink, it's permanent. So you don't want to use that if you're going to reuse the surface. So we are going to use, I bought the ink for some permanent Christmas stuff that I want to do. So here are my paste, and then I have a bunch of other uh, colors that I can use as well. So the first one is for Thanksgiving. So I thought I would use this transfer, which is really cute, and use that until Christmas. So we're going to use this one first. And it has a little backing on it, so you just want to take that backing off. It's easy to come off, see? But be careful not to stretch the transfer when you take it off. So now we have our fuzzing mat here, and you want it on the tag side up. And you want to just, it's fuzzing it so it doesn't stick completely to the surface and not come up properly. So we're just going to rub this on and do this about three to five times. So now we'll put that aside and here we are with our transfer. So we just want to go in and arrange it so that it's about even with how you want it and you can kind of use the side as a guide it looks like which that looks good maybe not a little bit off <laughs> so let's just move it over okay there we go okay so my packets um, are from when I got my kit a few months back and they're getting a little thick um, so if you just add a little water to them, it loosens it up again, which is nice, so you're not wasting it. So I'm just going to take this green and I'm going to put it all around the little outline and then through the squirrelies if I can, if I can get there. And I also have this little tool that I'm going to try to use. So let's try this out. And you know, by all means, you can even just make it even really simple and do all one color. And that's, that can look really classy too. And this is so nice because um, Chalk Couture is so easy and it makes all of these cute decorative pieces that look really high-end so uh, you can do these and give them as gifts for Christmas and it would take you like hardly any time at all to prepare this and like I said even like let's say someone has black and white decor in their home if you did this with just white paint this would be awesome they would love it. And if you don't want the bright, bright orange, you can even mix it with um, 
like a little red to give it a little bit more of a deeper color or um, even I think even the green you could kind of blend it but I'm not going to do that for this okay so now the yellow I'm going to use for the wording down here and there and all of the wheat And I want to apologize that I have not been putting out consistent videos. I have been dealing with some illnesses, some things that they just couldn't figure out what's wrong. So I apologize and as I feel better, I'll be putting out more. So please stick it out with me. Don't go away. I will be here and I hope that you stay. And thank you for doing that. The quick change challenge is just that. You want to take something and quickly change it from one holiday to the next or one season to the next. And it's hosted by Teresa at Teresa B DIY. And also the co-host this month is Lawn at Living Life with Lawn. I will have both of their uh, channel links down below as well as the playlist for this challenge to see all of the other creators and see what they've created. Now let's get back to the video. Okay, there we go. Now to take it off, you just want to slowly take it off, make sure it doesn't stretch. And just be careful because see it does stick pretty good sometimes so you don't want it to stretch too badly oh darn the green isn't showing I didn't do enough I guess or I waited too long I think it dried before I could put it on darn it See, I told you I was learning. But we did it. Okay, cross your fingers. Hopefully this works. Nope, it didn't work at all. But I mean, it kind of looks cute. It looks uh, rustic, not rustic, but um, distressed already. But not what I was going for. So definitely I need some practice. Okay, so now let's just wash off this mistake. Um, and I think it was because I waited too long and it dried and I didn't use enough paste to begin with on that green. And that's why it wasn't gonna go through it again because it was already painted over and dried on the transfer. So we're just gonna take a wet cloth and wipe this off. And you don't wanna scrape it because you'll leave marks on it. You just wanna put some pressure Okay, so we're, it doesn't look like it completely came off either, so I'm not sure what I'm doing wrong at this point, um, but we are going to try a different one and see how it turns out. Hopefully it works this time.
I'm going to use uh, what color is this? Meadow is what this is. Let's just try all meadow and see if that made a difference. Okay, so let's take that up and see. That's how it's supposed to look. So that was my mistake, is to do too many colors on it and let it dry. So I learned from my mistakes. So that looks really pretty. And I think um, next time I will even use this uh, shimmer crimson like at the top and then the green and do like a ombre effect that would look really pretty so you could see how i washed that off and then it come you can just reuse it again and i'm going to go wash this off really quick before it dries i'll be right back Okay, so for this one, I think I'm going to do kind of ombre, so I'm going to start with the green and start at the top here. And we're going to go a little bit on the hello. And then we're going to come down here halfway on the autumn. So you want to want work fast, remember. <laughs> so we got to get that going here. Okay. So wipe that off real quick. Use the white, get that in there, and we're going to go across this way first, and then we'll just go down some like this. And we're going to go down with the green, hopefully that works. Let's just wipe that down a little. Let's see if that helps. <laughs> okay, here we go. There we go. See, look how cute that looks. That turned out really cute. A little bit missing there, but I still think it turned out super cute. And it makes it look kind of more with the distress so see I learned some things today and um, it is easy so once you get the hang of things and you know what you can do and what you have to do it works out really cute so there we go thanks Let me know how I did and I wanted to include my mistakes so that you will not do them. <laughs> and I hope that this is going to inspire you to use Chuck Couture yourself and to switch out your holiday decor easily without having to do a lot of work. And don't forget that playlist down below. You want to see all those creators. Thank you so much and have a great day.